my name is Leroy Blevins. Welcome to Mysteries and Histories. In this episode here, what I want to do is I'm going to talk about who made Noah's Ark. Now, when we go to the church and we hear people talk about Noah's Ark, we watch a movie about Noah's Ark or anything else, we always hear that it was Noah and his three sons that built the ark. Well, when I first started doing research on Noah and the ark and the great flood, it was in 1976. That's when I started doing my research on this at a young age on Noah's Ark because I always wanted to know the truth. And a lot of things didn't make sense to me when I watched this documentary. It was called In Search of Noah's Ark by Sun Pictures. But there's a lot of things that didn't make sense to me when they was telling the story of Noah. So what I did was I went over the story of Noah a dozen times or so and at that time and over the years I went over it quite a few other times and there's a lot of things that I found out a lot more information that I found out actually was told in the Bible okay now before I go into that which I'm going to show you here in a minute remember as I said in my research in the beginning and in the time of Noah and the great flood there was only 10 months and one year there was only three weeks I mean, it was 21 days and one month, three weeks and one month, 10 months and one year, and 210 days and one year. Because January and February was not in the calendar year in the beginning. That didn't come along until 19, uh, I mean, until, excuse me, until 700 BC. 700 BC is when he added January and February into the calendar year. Now, that's why in the Hebrew Bible, in the Hebrew bloodline their new years is actually March 1st because that's the beginning of the year is March 1st now when we base this on Noah's time it took Noah 100 years to have the ark built however if we base it on our time frame as we see today that's with four weeks in one month 30 or more days in one month or 12 months in one year 365 days in one year it would actually took Noah and them 57 years to build the ark in our time. In his time, it took 100 years, but in our time, it would have took 57 years. However, <clears throat> when I said who built Noah's ark, is because as you go over the story of Noah and you find out the ages of their sons, of his sons, at the time they was born and when the time the flood happened and everything else, there was no way that Noah and his three sons can build this ark. And here's the evidence. As I gone over the story in Noah, and I just took these verses and stuff out of the Bible, in Genesis chapter 5. Now, if you want to, you can stop this right now and go get your Bible if you want. And you can pull up these verses as well, and you can go along with it. Okay? Now, in Genesis chapter 5, okay, the first verse, okay, uh, was... No, and Noah was 500 years old, and Noah began begat Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Again, in Genesis chapter 6, again, we see the same thing. In verse, uh, like I said, chapter 6, verse 10, and Noah begat three sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth. Now, Noah was 500 years old when he started having sons. Now, in Genesis chapter 9, okay, now, before I can actually say how old or the order of Noah's sons or how old they were at that time, I would first have to find out the order of Noah's sons. Now, some people say it was Ham was the oldest or Shem was the oldest and back and forth, back and forth, but they always put Japheth as either in the middle or at the end. Okay. Well, the Bible again tells us this answer. Now, if we, walk, if we go over Genesis chapter 9, uh, verse 18, and the sons unto Noah that went forth of the ark were Shem, Ham, and Japheth. And Ham was the father of Canaan. Okay, now in verse 22, it says, And Ham, the father of Canaan, again, the father of Canaan, saw the nakedness of his father, and he told his two brethren without. So basically, when Ham seen his son, I mean, seen his father, Without any clothes on, he went and told his brothers. His brothers walked backwards and covered up Noah because he was naked. Now, 
when Noah awoke from his wine, okay, which be in verse 24, okay, and Noah awoke from his wine, and he knew his younger son had done unto him, his younger son, okay, now he's talking about his youngest son of the three, and verse 25, we find out who his youngest son was, and he said, curse be Canaan, a servant of servants, shall he be unto his brethren okay so we know ham was the father of the canaan okay so ham was noah's youngest son okay now we're going to go on further and find out okay well now we know ham's the youngest son of noah now who was second and who was the first son of noah well we find this answer again in genesis Chapter 10, verse 21. Unto Shem, also the father of all children of Eber, the brother of Japheth, the elder. Even to him were children born. Japheth, the elder. So right now we can tell the order of Noah's sons was Japheth was first born. Second born was Shem. And the youngest was Ham. So now we have the order of Noah's sons. <clears throat> Now we know in the Bible tells us that Noah started having sons when he was five years old. And the Bible also tells us that the uh, flood occurred in the 600 year of Noah's life. So that's 100 years. Now to find the true ages of them at the time of the flood and when they were born. Okay, so we know Sh uh, Japheth was Noah's first born. So he was born unto Noah when Noah was 500 years old. Now... We're going on to Shem, which is the second eldest, okay? We find the answer of how old he was during the flood and how, and by this, we can also see how old he was, how old Noah was when he was born. In Genesis chapter 11, verse 10, these are the generations of Shem. Shem was a hundred years old and he begat Arphrax, 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 I think that's pronounced, uh, uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but but he begat him two years after the flood. So now here we see in this verse here that Shem was 100 years old when he had his first son. But it was two years after the flood. So if we take two years off of 100, that places Shem at 98 years old at the time of the flood. Now the time of the flood was in the 600 year of Noah's life. Okay. So if we take 98 from 600, that would be 502. And 502 is how old Noah was when Shem was born. So at this point, we know Noah was 500 years old when Japheth was born. And then he was 502 years old when Shem was born. Now Ham, it doesn't say anywhere in there or it gives us a hint and stuff like that of his approximate age. But we know that Noah had to be either 503 years old or older when Ham was born. So now we know the order of Noah's sons, and we know the approximate ages of Noah's sons, and we know the approximate age of Noah when his sons was born. By going over this information, there is no way that Noah and his three sons built this ark. Because Noah started building the ark when he was 500 years old. Okay? Now, he just had a newborn child. The other two children weren't born yet. Okay, so now we have, by the time Noah was 502 and Shem was born, now he still has a newborn, but he only has a two-year-old son at that time. So there is two years already, and then if you go into three years, four years, five years after that, as it gets closer into that 100, you were looking at from the first 500 years old, to approximately, uh, I would put around, say, 16 years from there. So Noah would have had six, uh, been 516 years old before Japheth start helping him. Then it would have to be Noah would have been approximately around 520 something years old, almost 530 years old before Shem can start helping. Okay, and then whenever Ham was born. Okay, which is a big gap in between there because it doesn't specifically tell us in the Bible when Ham was born. But we're looking at before all of three of them 
can help their father, Noah would have had only about 20 to 25 years to build this ark. So see, even the Bible tells us this, okay, by these verses that's told in the Bible, in these chapters. Now, what people don't know is Noah and his sons didn't build the ark. Noah went out and got to gather the animals and everything else that God told him to gather. Noah <clears throat> didn't actually build the ark himself because the reason why I say this is because when we look over the story of Noah and we'll find an answer, okay, which would be in Genesis chapter 8, verse 6. And it came to pass at the end of 40 days that Noah opened the window of the ark which he had made specifying that Noah made the window of the ark. Now, if Noah helped build this ark and everything else, then why does it specify just that window? Okay, it was says, and uh, they would probably put in there, and Noah opened up the window of the ark that he, you know, uh, made or helped, or Noah would have opened up the ark of the, wind, of the window of the ark, you know. They could have versed it any other way, but it specified that the window is the only thing he made in the ark so see there was other people on the ark which i want to make another video soon about how many people actually was on the ark and others and i'm going to show you evidence as told in the bible about why there was other people on the ark with noah and his family but noah actually had other people help him build the ark now they're not going to tell us this they're going to interpret uh, interpret the story of noah but they're adding on to it and even in the Bible, if you read at the very end, uh, the Bible says you cannot take to, from, the, uh, from the Bible and you cannot add to the Bible. But that's what a lot of people have been doing over the years is they keep on adding more and more to the stories. So they can just, you know, I don't know why they keep on adding to it, which is basically all they're doing is making the whole story of Noah's false. And that's why people today have a hard time believing in Noah and the Great Flood because of all this well all these questions pop up how did one man and his three sons build this ark in hundred years okay it doesn't add up that's because noah and his sons didn't build the ark noah had others build the ark if you read the bible and you understand the story and you understand what's written and you piece all this together okay you will find out the actually the true story of noah and that's what I've done when I started doing research on Noah and the Ark. And this is one of the things I found out that made me think for a long time there when I said, well, how could Noah and his son start building the Ark when he was 500 years old, when he just had his first son when he was 500 years old? Okay, so I just want to make this video here to clear up a little bit more. All this evidence and a lot more is in my book called Noah's Ark. It's on Amazon. And... It's uh, also on Kindle. This is the front cover. This is the back cover of the book. Okay. Uh, it's cheaper on Kindle. And for Kindle sales and for the book sales, the money that I receive off of this, and I also add a little more money to it because I don't get a full dollar for each book. So I have to add more money out of my own pocket. But anyway, for every book that's sold on Noah's Ark, this Noah's Ark research book, I donate that dollar to a church that helps people out with food and their bills and help family get clothing and help people in the wintertime and stuff. So I donate my money from this book, plus I have more money to it to make a dollar for every book that's sold. So, you know, they can have something because I don't believe in making money off of God or the Bible or stories told in the Bible. Okay, so... Uh, if anybody wants to get this book, like I said, I'll leave in the description down below the site where you can order this book, paperback, or you can get on Kindle. And every book that's sold, a dollar goes to each one book, each copy that's sold either on Kindle or in paperback. A dollar goes to a church uh, up the street here for me. Uh, they get a dollar that helps feed people because they run a clothing closet they also run a food bank pantry and stuff like that so for each book that's sold i donate that money to them so uh, i want to thank you don't forget to tell your friends about us don't forget to subscribe don't forget to like don't you know because i like button sitting down there and it's all alone and uh have a nice day 
and thank you and tell your friends about us. Thank you.